everyone. I hope your week has gone well. Today I am back with another story and I am joined by my dear friends, Musarrat and Makbul in Sacramento. I'm going to ask them a few questions and they will tell a little bit about your, themselves. So uh, my name is uh, Makbul Ahmad and uh, I'm, I'm a physician and originally from Pakistan, married to my beautiful wife, Musarrat. For many many years, we know Diane for a very long time. Actually, when I was in training, met her the first time in in Cincinnati, Ohio. So we know each other for a very long time. Everybody, my name is Musarat, and um, uh, I'm a physician assistant. I work in family medicine, and I've known Diane for more than twenty plus years. Let's say that, and we're still, you know, when we were little kids. That's how when we first <laughs> met. Awesome. Thank you so much. So tell, tell us why you believe in the mission of our work. Maybe you can go first, Mos. Okay. Um, well, like we just said that uh, we met Diane in Cincinnati. We met at a mosque and uh, found out she's in it from Indonesia. And I'd grown up in Indonesia. I was there for almost seven years when my father was posted in Indonesia. There, and so I have this, like, you know, this, this, link or this connection with Indonesia and Indonesian people. Anyway, so we were good friends back then. And then and we moved, she moved and we lost contact. Then after a couple of years later, I picked up a magazine and I see her interview in the Newsweek about Give Light, a charitable uh, orphanage that she had founded right after the tsunami. Like we try to connect with each other, found out that she's in the Bay Area and I'm in Sacramento. So it worked out well. We have met a couple of times since then and gotten to know each other. And knowing her personally, and I know that how much it has meant to her and how much work she has put in, like she's pretty much given up everything for this cause that I am 100% with her in it. I do not do enough. I do not do anything at all. Sometimes just write a check or tell others about it. That's all I do but I'm honored and humbled to be a part of this wonderful organization with her. And she's oh. a wonderful person to, to be called a friend, of course. Alhamdulillah, thank you so much for um, the kind words. And I guess it, that leads me to my next questions, right? There are many causes out there, there are many charities. What makes it meaningful and personal to you? Can you maybe elaborate on that? This is very personal to us. It's because of you, Diane. It's because we have known you for such a long time and we know how much it affected you personally and the work and the passion that you have put in it. You pretty much made it your life. And knowing you personally and how it affected you and the actions you took to, 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 you know, to kind of like do something about it and not just be bogged down by the calamity or the disaster that affected you is an inspiration. So to me, the personal level is actually, it's you. I feel comfortable asking other people to contribute or to help, knowing that it's going to the right people to the right place. Mm -hmm. What I will add to that, I agree with what my beloved wife said, but I also will add that in addition to all the factors that made us comfortable with this and pulled us towards Give Light is the, the type of work the Give Light Foundation does. It is not just giving charity to orphans, to food or clothes. It is a, a wholesome process of raising them uh, and teaching them and making them a good human beings, uh, both from uh, uh, just bringing them up, raising them, taking care of them, clothing, food, shelter, but also education, their health, their pushing them to do great things, several graduates or, or children that were raised in this foundation have done great, have, have done to the college, have gone to the college and doing jobs and stuff like that. So that's really what was inspirational. It's yeah. not just a organization where you have uh, poor kids that you just feed and clothe and provide shelter, which is important. That's the basic important thing. Yeah. that you have to provide. But in addition to that, you're doing a bit more. what you're doing is like, what your organization does, I think is amazing that they're not, they are creating good human beings mm -hmm. with good education and good uh, characters, good mentorship. Yes. Good mentorship. Yes. Wonderful, alhamdulillah. My last question would be, uh -huh. if you get 
a chance to go to uh, any of our homes. I say this Morocco home and sit with the girls. What advice would you give them? First of all, I would tell them that they're so special to me, that they're amazing people. And uh, the advice I would say is to follow maybe in the footsteps of Dayan, look at her, her as their inspiration, or just, you know, or and also just be, be like, just do the best they can in those some circumstances, get their education, be good people, good human beings, and learn to give back to the same organization or some other organization. I guess that's what I would tell them. But most of all, I would really love to go and see them. And, you know, hopefully one day you will be able to experience that as well with me. Um, and yes. you know that we are planning to, inshallah, build in Pakistan. So please pray for that project to come to fruition. And hopefully we can travel after COVID and make it happen, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. Yeah, that would be amazing. That would be like one of my dreams come true. Yes. Thank you again, Moose. Uh, everyone watching, I hope you are inspired. Uh, until next time, keep spreading love and light. All right. Bye, everyone. Thank you.